in that bag? 80% of beef. This is your last batch, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Are you happy? <laughs> yes, I'm happy. It's the last batch. So into the bowl goes the meat. There it is, look how beautiful. And carrots and parm cheese. How much carrots and how much parm cheese? Nothing's measured. So that looks About like... a handful of um, the Parmesan cheese, at least a good handful, and I'd say equal amount of uh, carrots. Can you use a Swiss chard? Nothing's measured. What about zucchini? Zucchini, anything, summer squash. And it, I think that's what was it that made it moisture at the zucchini. Salt. So we put um, about five pounds of meat in. How much salt? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Zoom in on that. How many of those? About three. Okay. It's a lot of beef, and you need the salt to flavor the beef. And um, we don't do that. We use salsa about three tablespoons. Sometimes use fresh garlic, but this time of year, oops, I'd say that. that's about it. Garlic powder, I need some uh, yellow cheese, and this is the onions. I used about a half a cup of, a half of an onion per batch. About three to four fresh slices of breadcrumbs, ground of course. I didn't put mustard yet, did I? How much mustard? I'd say a tablespoon. It's, it's too strong to use much more than that. This time we don't have Swiss chard, we just have carrots. We've got onions, garlic, salt and pepper. How much ketchup? Oh, I'd say a quarter of a cup. This is a, do we put this into it? Artichoke spread that happened to be in the refrigerator. I would put four age eggs for this amount. How many eggs total? Four. And I'd say how many, how much meat would you say? That was five pounds? I think about five pounds. How much cheese? Oh, I'd say about three cups of cheese for this amount of beef. What sort of cheese is best? This is happens to be sharp. Um, well, yellow cheese. <laughs> Cheddar. Cheddar. Okay, that sounds good. We have to sample it. So we take a little ball and microwave it for testing for flavor. And uh, this is the last chance you have to flavor your beef before it uh, goes in the freezer. So how many meatloafs will that make? This should make three or four. 
size of your loaf. Oh, I'd say you bake it for uh, 45 minutes and it should be done for a modest size beater. 350? 350? 350. You don't break it on an open cookie sheet because you'll the fat will run over and get mess up in the oven. These are just little bits cooked in the microwave for about a minute or less, should be less. Um, cut it, it's cooked through. Um, the fresh vegetables might not be cooked because you're only doing it for one minute, but if when you bake the whole meat loaf, all the vegetables in there will be cooked. Tasty. <laughs> Hot? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Okay. That was Steve Tasty.